Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to share with you my grocery haul. Oh my goodness, I'm absolutely worn out. I have done pretty much a whole month's worth of shopping this morning and I've just laid it out, everything out for you so that you can see. Now just a little disclaimer here, I haven't got a whole month's worth of bread, I haven't got a whole month's worth of uh, milk, probably not a whole month's worth of eggs either. So there are a couple of things I'm going to need to buy. Oh and butter because I've got plenty in the fridge and I didn't want to buy any more so um, yeah I'm gonna to need to go to the shop to get a few more bits a bit later on but we have pretty much got all our meats all our dog food cat food um, everything else might need a few more uh, fruits I think maybe some salad bits a bit later on as well but so I but I'm gonna keep a little bit of cash held back for that for, uh, for that for that for those items but um, yeah this is pretty much all of it so I'm gonna show you Right, I'm going to show you here. I've got four loaves of gluten-free breads there for me. So if I just get stuck into everything and show you, I've got two packets. I don't know if you can see it because the light's shining. It's upside down, but there's some rack of pork ribs. There's two of those. I've got a packet of diced beef. And sneaking down here, I've got two packets of pork and caramelised onion sausages. Now I did go to three shops. I went to Sainsbury's, Aldi's, which I did most of my shopping from, um, and Sainsbury's. And I have to go to Sainsbury's for some things for me because I have gluten free and I can't buy them anywhere else. So, and that's what I, I there's the cheese I like at Sainsbury's as you may know. So I have no choice but to go to Sainsbury's. Um, anyway, I'll crack on with everything. I've got two, three, four, five, six packs of mints, which are uh, 500 grams each and um, just to say I have done my meal plan so don't worry I am going to use all of this up and there's a reason why I've got so much I've got four packs of the chicken fillets which are a kilo each let's go here I've got a packet of liver lamb's liver what else now I hadn't planned to buy this on my shopping list sorry but it was in Asda and it was this is haddock which has been reduced to £4.26 so what I'm going to do with it is I am going to cook it up with some mashed potato I overcooked the other day which is in my freezer and I'm going to make fish cakes for the family for, for um, one lunch or just freeze them up and then just keep them uh, for, for another meal here, I hadn't planned to buy a whole chicken because I have got one in my freezer for this month, but £2.20 it's reduced. So this will go straight in my freezer in a minute because um, it's at near the end of its use-by date, but that will go straight in the freezer. So that's a pretty good saving there for £2.20 for a whole chicken. We've also got three packs of the streaky unsmoked bacon. We got a slab of red Leicester and a slab of extra mature cheese, which were both came from Aldi's. Like I say, a lot of this came from Aldi's. Um, two packets of turkey mints, which they didn't have any chicken mints, so I'm going to have to do the chicken burgers, but with turkey. So they're going to be so they're going to be turkey burgers for their lunches. Um, what have we got here? We've got a big joint of gammon, which I'm going to cook up. And slice up very thinly for ham sandwiches. And then there's a couple of other dinners I'm going to want to use them for in the month. I've got some stewing lamb here for um, uh, a lamb casserole. I did want to get neck, neck fillet. But do you know what? I had so much trouble. Well, I couldn't get any neck fillet. Couldn't get any chicken mince. There was only one shop I could get the lamb's liver in. Um, so, I, so with the stewing lamb, like I say, I wanted neck for it but I had to get stewing lamb so yeah, it doesn't really matter there's plenty of meat on that I'll sort cut it all up and sort it out so here I've got two packets of the chicken thighs which have got bones and skins up skin on I don't want the bones and skin but I'll sort that all out and they were a kilo each they were quite a good price because they were one pound 74 a packet so that's quite good um what, what else have we got let's go around there so I can show you instead of me leaning over We've got a packet of Italian style pepperoni, which we're going to be doing some pizzas this month. So that's what that's for. Uh, three packet, three, sorry, three cartons of the organic soy milk for me. We've got a packet of organic porridge oats. We've got 
one beef and one gravy granules, garlic oil, three packets, no not three packets, three cartons of the six pints of milk. Let's go all the way down this way and then I'll go around. <laughs> this is quite exciting. <laughs> So we've got a packet of the cannelloni. Now I'd forgot to get my lasagna sheets in Aldi when they were 49p and it was only when I got to the last shop I looked at my list and realised I hadn't picked up the lasagna sheets for several lasagnas I want to make. So at 89p in Sainsbury's I decided that buying cannelloni cheaper, 65 was better. So they're going to have one meal cannelloni. I have got some lasagna sheets in the cupboard, but I haven't got enough to make the, the amount of um, lasagnas I wanted. But it doesn't matter. Um, I've got a packet of the vegetarian red onion and rosemary sausages for me. Some corn mince. Some corn gammon steaks. Uh, some frozen peas, frozen broccoli, some frozen cauliflower for cauliflower cheese. I've got a roast beef joint. Now I wanted a sh some shin of beef, but I couldn't get any anywhere that didn't have a sauce already on them. So I picked up this in Aldi's and I'm going to use this instead for my the meal I was going to have with the shin of beef. This is silver side, so I should just cook this slowly. Um, I've got two packets here of chipolatas, two there, what else we've got some of the Genius Puff Pastry which is the gluten free puff pastry, I've got a box of haddock fillets because my family want fish and chips one night with some peas, at the back of the start at the top we've got some puff pastry for the family and as some treats, these weren't on my shopping list but you know how it goes, we always end up buying things we're not meant to on a shopping list but these are four little chocolate puddings for the family to have as as treats um, there's three packets of baked beans there for the family to have with their meals now here we've got some gluten free seeded like deli rolls for me and here I've got two packets of the deli rolls for the family for, for meals there's two packets of Vitalite uh, dairy-free um, butter there. Two packets of my gluten-free cheese. And underneath there is some like buttery type baking butter to make cakes with. This month as we're going to be we're going to be doing a lot of baking and making cakes, etc. There's some gluten-free panini rolls for me. Some poppadoms to go with their curry. Here I've got two packets of Warburton, I can't say it, Warburton's crumpets, gluten free. Now, these were on offer, that was, well, they were reduced. They're usually, where is it, £1.35. Well, if that was what they were usually in Asda, that's cheap because they're usually like £1.60 in it elsewhere. But anyway, they've been reduced to 94p. Don't always buy these, these are a treat for me. But as they were reduced, there's two packets that have been reduced there as well. So they're for me. Um, also got, and I'm just going to say, these are the Newborn Bakehouse gluten-free white wraps. Don't always buy these because these are very expensive, but they were reduced from £3 to £1.49 in Asda. Were they Asda? Actually, they might have been Sainsbury's, I can't remember. Um, but anyway, they're reduced. These are the Mediterranean herb wraps for the family. They have those with their lunches or if they're having a chilli they want to wrap it up. My son Job, as I said before, sticks shepherd's pie in that. <laughs> um, that's what we got. We've got some sugar waffles for breakfast or some like put dessert type things and some chocolate waffles as well for the same reasons. Four packets of choco pans or pano chocolates, whichever way you want to say it. Just making some room here. <laughs> Stacking it up. <laughs> um, what else have we got to show you? I brought some classic chia bread. I'll start again. Some classic chia batter bread mix because I wanted some paninis uh, for a meal, but I couldn't find any in the shops that I went in. I don't know what's going on. So uh, a lot of shopping's missing. Uh, I don't know what's going on, but there's a lot of food not being available. I don't know quite what's going on. Anyway, I substituted it with this bread mix, and I'm going to make some chia batter. 
uh, instead of the paninis. And these were set. This was this was seventy five p. So it's going to work out cheaper than buying four four paninis anyway. Um, free from penne pasta for me. Packet of five bagels. Some bin rubbish bags. Some dishwasher tablets. At the back here we got some washing up liquid. Two jars of mayonnaise. Some silver foil here, three tubes of tomato puree, and we've got three jars of tikka masala sauce, a tub of tomato ketchup. We've got an iceberg lettuce, which was on offer in Aldi's today, and we've got four packs of the 12 eggs. If you can see, I've got it upside down. So there's 48 eggs there, so I'm hoping that's enough, but probably not. Okay, a packet of leeks. And I'm just going to say, do you actually need to go and make yourself a cup of tea? Because this is quite a long shopping haul, isn't it? It's quite big what I've brought, quite a lot. So if you need to go and get a cup of tea, pause it now and come back. But I'm just going to carry on. So in Asda, I managed to get two of these little, two packets. Because there's two here of the little gem Lettuces reduced 39p from 60p. We've got a sweetheart cabbage. Oh, bananas. Now, I had only bought these bananas, this bunch here in um, Aldi's, and I was only going to get this many this month, but I went into Asda and they were reducing them really cheaply. I know, I like my bananas like this, so these are ready for me to eat, but I can freeze these up as well for smoothies and banana cake. Right, at the back here, we've got... Two packets of cereals, we've got Golden Puff and Craze. Four packets of the chocolate chips for baking in cookies and muffins. Some cake cases for the muffins. Some tofu for me. There's two packets of tea bags here, which were on offer in Sainsbury's for three fifty. And um, There's 240 tea bags in each box. Hiding down here is a box of icing sugar for the cakes, two packets of caster sugar for baking. Uh, what have we got? We've got some carrots, two packets of white onions, three packets of tomatoes, a white cabbage for coleslaw, two fresh um, broccolis, two packets of the chestnut mushrooms. We've got four packets of mozzarella cheese for the pizzas we're going to be making. Two packets of the ba Sainsbury's Basics tortilla chips. We've got a swede. We've got a celery, which was 39p in Aldi's on offer. Uh, a bunch of spring onions. A cucumber. What else have we got? <laughs> Hang on. So over here we've got two loaves of bread. A strawberry yogurt, a plain um, out pro soya yogurt. We've got four donuts as a treat for my family. They were a pound. And because I'm doing a lot of freezer meals this month, I've got the big silver trays already in the cupboard. I've got quite a lot of those, but I wanted some little tiny ones for my meals and some any for any leftovers. So I've got these tim sorry, ten pack of foil containers with their lids. Some more freezer bags, so I've got um, small and some really tiny ones there, and two packets of the medium. Over here I've got a big bag of sugar, some dog treats for our Marvin and Belle. Excuse the lighting because it's really dark in here today, it's, it's been raining hard all day. Um, we've got cat food, we've got 32 tins of cat food which we bought from Aldi's. There's some more cat food in this bag. Two boxes of cat Biscuits, toilet roll, kitchen roll, big sack of dog biscuits. Um, and here's the dog food. So we got all these dog food. I'm not even going to count it. <laughs> One, two, three. We've got, well, I'm not even going to count because there's so many tins of dog food there, but these are going to last us a month. And is that everything? Can I say, and a partridge in a pear tree? That's our shopping haul. So here's the huge shopping list from Aldi's. Oh, excuse me, I'm dropping it. And I managed to spend 
a hundred and seven pound and twenty five p um, in the first go because I went round twice with my shopping trolley. I run out of space in there. You can see, look, ninety two items. I run out of space in my trolley, and there was only me on my own. So I had to go back for a second trolley, which I filled up with the animal food. On this receipt here, I did have two boxes of cat food, but like I say, I ran out of space, so um, I had to go around. And here's the second Aldi shopping receipt, which was £44.70p for the rest of the animal food, which was a dog meat, dog treats, biscuits and cat biscuits. I then went to Asda with, and got my reduced lettuces and bananas and all sorts of other reduced items and spent £54.30p. And then I went on to Sainsbury's and managed to spend £68.26p. I did get an instant reward off of £2.50. Yay for £2.50. £2.50 is £2.50. <laughs> so yeah, um, all in all, and the total um, I spent today was £274.51p. But for you smart people that have noticed there's no potatoes, that's because I still got a sack of potatoes from the other week there. And um, I think we've got plenty for the month. If not, I'll just go off and get another sack. So I'm not too worried about that. I think we've pretty much done quite well. Um, I have got uh, my menu plan my menu plan for this month up on a video I'll link the video down below I'm gonna pop everything that I've brought um, up onto uh, my website so that you can see what we're eating for the month um, and what I bought and how much it cost um, I think that's about it really um, I don't know what else to say except for it's now time for me to put it away oh now comes the fun okay you take care and I will see you again soon bye